talking before we got going good here, and you're saying that some of the issues y'all are dealing with here in West Pelzer are technology. Let's talk a little bit about that. Tell me what's going on with West Pelzer and technology. Okay, I will. Uh, like you say, we were talking in the green room before you turned the camera on, and uh, technology here, there it goes right there. Technology is a good thing if it's used properly, and if you have control of it, don't let it control you. It is a good thing. Uh, we have experience. We've had to keep up with it here in our system. Our administrator got hacked a couple of weeks ago. It was uh, some information got out. We caught it quick, but we caught it because an advanced company uh, picked up on it and got in touch with us and fixed it for us. And then they made their sales pitch of how they did it and said, we need something like that in the future because it'll happen again. We said, oh, it sounds great. You know, give us your sales pitch. And then they gave us the sales pitch and the bottom line. And we said, whoa, <laughs> uh, we have to look at this. And we're continuing to look at it. But it's, it's a new aspect of technology to protect uh, especially uh, municipalities and, and larger businesses. It's called, it's really, a, I don't know the technical term, but it really eyes on. Uh, they catch it really quick uh, with the system, but it costs. And so we're looking at it and hope to uh, upgrade to that real soon. Uh, so technology can be good or it can be used for bad, and that's what we're battling, unfor and, unfortunately. And you already have some online services, right? Yes. Uh, and, uh, and those are protected by something different, right? We, we do have a system, but this is something newer because uh, the bad guys, they, they're in it for money. And so uh, they're trying to stay a step ahead. And even a small municipality like West Pelzer, we're going to stay a step ahead also. We were on council a long time before this, but you got a half year mayor in now. What have you learned being mayor? That you didn't know before. Being mayor can be rewarding and it can keep you awake at night. <laughs> uh, that's why being on council, I supported a mayor. I had my opinions and everything, but I could usually go home and say, okay, mayor won't do this. He's going to deal with it. And so I can go to sleep. Now uh, I'm the man there at that position to where I have to take it home with me. I have to take it everywhere I go. Uh, for the benefit of the town, for the good of the town. That's uh, rewarding, but it's uh, challenging also. But that goes with the turf also. You're not going to make everybody happy, uh, especially when you have to make the hard decisions. And uh, But as long as I feel like the hard decision is the right decision and is really right for the people, uh, then I'm going to make that decision and deal with the consequences. You mentioned technology. What are some of the other challenges that you and your council face kind of going through the summer here? What are y'all working on? Other than technology, uh, just keeping up with uh, events and uh, adapting that technology to future needs. We went through the first stage of uh, a maintenance uh, issue. We came out of that really well, have a great maintenance uh, uh, department now a great young man who was uh, doing a good job. The other challenge was uh, the police department. We lost our two officers and our chief all by their choice, but a lot of it had to do with uh, the financial situation. Uh, so I decided that uh, the citizens have told me that they want a full function in police department. And I says, okay, I'm gonna get that, but to get it, uh, we're gonna to have to increase the pay and benefits to get the right people. Everything is up. When McDonald's is offering a $400 hiring bonus, now there's more to it than that than meets the eye, but also, the minimum wage is up, everything is up. Uh, we could get into national politics, but we're not gonna do that, but everything is up. And so to get good officers, 
a good chief and good officers, uh, it's going to cost us more. And uh, to do that, the citizens uh, pay the cost. And the citizens have said this is what they want, so we just hired a new chief that starts July 1st, uh, has a very impressive resume, and he's going to cost us a little more, but I think he's going to be worth every penny of it because he's also going to attract officers of uh, like quality. And I think we'll have in the long run a sustaining, functioning, good police department. And this is a challenge that all the townships are facing. I mean, this is something everybody's having to decide whether to merge in with the sheriff's department or keep their own police departments. I mean, the, the other towns throughout the county are going through the same thing. It is, and it's, uh, it's all part of uh, keeping up with the technology. It's not the technology, I ha that has a place in it, but also keeping up with the, as I mentioned, cost of technology, the cost of doing business has gone up. And that's true of the police department also. So uh, if we're going to have a top-notch police department, we're going to have to pay top-notch wages within the scale. And uh, that's what we decided we're going to do. But it requires a tax increase. Uh, we haven't had a tax increase in years, a significant tax increase. Uh, we were going to have one. We passed it the first reading. We've got second reading coming up next month. And again, what I've learned as mayor is that I have a council, and they have to be persuaded with reason. And if they're persuaded with the reason, they have a vote. And if they vote for it, then uh, we're off and running. Anything so, else in that budget people might want to know about that don't follow it closely? Uh, that, that's the main thing. It, it's a, the way I put it, it's a targeted tax increase for the police department. That's strictly for that. So the way it comes to a vote with council, they're hearing the same thing I'm hearing from uh, the constituents, that this is what they want, then it's what I want also, but it comes with a cost. Just driving through here all the time, it looks like y'all are almost full in terms of storefronts. Y'all don't have many places left, do you, for people to come in? No, that's the challenge also. We do have some property uh, or businesses that may want to come and we've had some inquiries but uh, we're limited uh, we're good with housing development that's going to go on into the future that helps us with our taxes also uh, so financially we're going to make it uh, but with getting new business it's more and more difficult and they're, they've got to be targeted businesses uh, for for our availability, space availability. So we hope to get some more businesses coming in. Yes. How about infrastructure, water and sewer, are still an issue to fund. And well, we you know we took care of that early on. Right. Uh, again, that fell in. Sewer was taken care of even with the past administration. Uh, that was a wise move, a good move that was passed on. Uh, Water was considered at the time, but was not taken given the circumstances. But as things developed, uh, it became obvious that uh, we were going to be better off going to the water uh, route also with Greenville Water. And we did. And one of the things that's been said around here and fussed about for years is our water bills, our water bills. Well, as I understand, I'll probably be the first mayor in a long time that's actually lowered the water bill significantly by going with the Greenville Water. Plus, it took a huge burden off of the town itself of maintaining that system. So it's, I think it's been a good move. You mentioned events. You just had the dog show, which is the trademark of dogs and dancing in West Pelzer. What other events y'all got coming up? Uh, you were here for the dog show. I appreciate that. Uh, the dog show was great. It started slow, the heat, uh, but we had, I think it's 15, 17 entries and a lot of people showed up. It was a, a good positive event. Uh, we're going to work on it. Uh, we had a great uh, master of ceremony, uh, so we're going to work on it again for next go around next year and uh, try to make it even better. The next uh, 
event coming up is going to be our fall festival in, in October. Uh, and that's like a farm fest and a old fashioned uh, uh, model after some stuff that was going on over in uh, Oconee County, uh, an old fashioned uh, uh, festival that focused on tractors and, and agriculture and animals and as well as uh, there'll be some activities for the kids, kind of like an old fashioned fair, if you will. A lot of local, On a farm, much smaller lot of local farmers here. A lot for of that. local farmers, yes. And uh, so that'll be the next big event in October. And then, of course, after that. Uh, now, in between that will be not a town sponsored event, but Westies Market, which is a huge event also for West Pelzer, uh, put on uh, by Rick Sanders and Westies. Uh, that'll be coming up um, in early October. And, Lord have mercy lest I be amiss as a new mayor. Our fall edition of the Mile Long Yard Sale will take place at the end of September. That has been so popular, uh, started by our former mayor. Uh, people, we did it once a year in the fall, but they wanted it twice a year. So we did it in the spring and it was a huge success. And so we're gonna do it again in the fall and you have it twice a year. So those events are keeping us uh, well busy as a, uh, as a town, municipality, uh, for the citizens, all for the citizens. We'll catch up next time. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate it. Thanks.